Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Lavakarium, Shaw, Yasharala. And, um, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, it's early, you know, it's like five in the morning. I'm in plantation. <clears throat> but, you know, I was thinking about, you know, what should I do my next lesson on? And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, you know, uh, this is what I'm going to make the lesson in. And what you see here is, um, you see in front of you an image of different people with different jobs, whether it be a construction worker, a nurse, a lawyer, a fire, a firefighter, a policeman, whatever, you know. These are all different categories of jobs. And we all have jobs, you know. I have a job also, you know. I work for the maintenance department, you know, at a university here in, in Jersey. And um and all you brothers out there and sisters, you know, you got different jobs out there. But for you men, this is mainly for you men, man. You know, rather you be a maintenance worker, rather you be whatever you are out there in Babylon the Great, if you were called for this truth, if you were called to this ministry, man, to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, your main job is to be a prophet, to be a preacher, to be a man of the Lord, you know, that that is your purpose. This is your lot. That's your number one job. That is your number one duty. You know, all these things we do in the world, you know, it's just vain. We're doing it because, you know, this is part of our captivity, part of our curse. You know, it's part of living. But your main your main job, your main occupation you know, Yahweh Ratzah, man. If you are the man of the Lord, if you are part of the elect, if you are chosen to be a prophet for the Lord, is to be his men, his preacher, his prophet, to teach, to warn our people out there in the street ministry. You know, this is what you're going to be saturated with if you are called by Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be oversaturated with this truth. You're going to constantly resonate. Your spirit going to resonate with this truth. You're going to constantly study. You're going to constantly do videos, lessons. You're going to constantly fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You're going to constantly ask for mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai every single day, man, daily. There's not one day that should go by that you're not in tune with the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, with the spirit of prophecy, which is Yahweh Shai. You know, if you are called by Yahweh, if you are chosen by the Lord, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna read something. Let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter three, and I'm gonna start at verse one. But the point is down at the fifth, I think, or fourth. And this is Paul speaking to the Philippians out there in the church of Phili Philippi. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, it is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision, for we are the circumcision, which worship Yahweh in the spirit and rejoice in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and have no confidence in the flesh. Woo! You know, and, and and lately, you know, the hot topic is these brothers, well, I don't know if I'm going to call them brothers, but these men out there in Sakari, especially the leaders over there, you know, how, how they're showing their carnality. Now, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't even going to point or focus on them. This lesson is more about 
you know, the Lord predestinated and chosen the men of the Lord, the prophets of these days. That's your real job. But this scripture is very important. So I had to touch on it and I'm going to move on. And it says that beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision which worship Yahweh in the spirit. See that? Worship Yahweh in the spirit and rejoice in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and have no confidence in the flesh. You had the you had the uh the law of circumcision, which is which was of the flesh, right? On the eighth day, you know, every male child was supposed to be circumcised. We don't rely on the flesh. This is a spiritual battle. You know, and a lot of those men over there, and not just them, how you are see in different camps, you know. They, they they rely more on the flesh than the spirit. But let's continue. Verse 4, though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he that he have whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee. You see? So Paul, which his name was Saul, you know, he was a Pharisee in the beginning. He 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 was a he was a he was a Pharisee. He 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 worked for the Pharisees. He knew about the law, you know. And before Yahweh Shai supped with him, you know, he was going around persecuting the church. He was persecuting believers. He was persecuting, you know, the men of the Lord. And um, he, he did his job. And that was his job. In his mind, that was his job. But the Lord already had chosen Paul from the beginning to be a prophet and to be a preacher for his works. You see? So we all have jobs. Brothers out here wanted to be musicians, rappers. I know I wanted to be a baseball player at one time. I was into, af a a a you know, sports, you know. And um, the Lord had other things. Why? Because the Lord already knows your spirit. The Lord already knows who you are. Okay? That's, uh, verse 6. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church... Touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I kind of lost for Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Yet doubtless, and I count all things but the loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Yahweh Shai, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness which is of the law, but that, but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the righteousness, which is of Yahweh by faith. Okay, so Paul was a Pharisee, but the Lord already had a job for him. And his job was what? To be a preacher to the Gentiles, to be a preacher to the circumcision and the uncircumcision, to, 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 to be a prophet, to be a man of the Lord. You know, just like we all got jobs, right? So let's go to, uh, I want to, hmm, let's go to Jeremiah 1 and 5, one of the goodies, you know. And um, everybody familiar with this, man, because at the end of the day, man, it's not what we want. It's what the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh wants, man. Okay, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and ordained thee as a prophet unto the nations. See that? So even before Jeremiah was born, the Lord already sanctified his spirit, ordained him to be a prophet to the nations. Okay, even Yahweh Shai was a carpenter. You know, Peter, John, they were fishermen. Everyone had an occupation, just like we all have occupations today. 
But if you are chosen in the heavens from the beginning, if you are ordained to be a preacher or a prophet and to come out and do this work, number one, this is your first job. You know, you're going to be you're going to be you're going to be picked out somewhere in your lifeline. Somewhere in your life, one day, your spirit is going to resonate with this truth. And you're going to continue your real job as a prophet, man. You know, and we still work. I still work at the Department of Maintenance, but I know this is all vain. You know, my true job is what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has chosen me to do and what to be. And that is a preacher, a prophet to warn our people in these last days. That is my lot as well as all you other brothers that have your lot. You have your lot. Every one of us have a lot, you know? But this is focusing on the men of the Lord that's out there doing the Lord's work. If you are sincere in Yahweh Zaba if we're part of that number, you've been chosen from the Lord, from the beginning. From the beginning, okay? Let's go to John 15. <clears throat> John 15, let's go to the book of John, chapter 15, and I'm going to go, let's start at verse uh, 16, okay, okay, verse 16, John 15, verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things have I command you, that you love one another. So Yahweh shall have already chosen. He's speaking to his disciples. You know, they didn't choose Yahweh Shai. They didn't choose that. They were Peter and John, there's, there's a story when they were fishing and they were casting out their net to fish. And Yahweh Shai came, and they just threw their net and followed Yahweh Shai. They didn't ask no questions. They didn't say, look, man, I got to go to, uh, to my house real quick and go see if my kids are okay, my wife, you know. You know, I know, you know, no, they follow Yahweh Shai because they spirit knew right there and then. This is, this is it. Because they were what? They were chosen. They were ordained. Verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Okay? This is not our movie. Okay? This is not our movie. The Lord knows who his men are. The Lord knows the spirits, man. He is called the Father of Spirits for a reason. Okay? He is called the Father of Spirits for a reason, man. This is the book of Proverbs 16 and 1. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. Let's read that one more time. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You don't control nothing. Okay? Man's going is of the Lord. If you were born to be a prophet, you're going to be a prophet. If you was born to be a help, you're going to be a help. If you was born to be two-thirds, you're going to be two-thirds. If you was born to be the elect, you're going to be the elect. If you was born to be one-third, you're going to be one-third. Okay? Whatever your lot is, anyways, the Lord has chosen you to be that lot. Because he directs your steps. And the book of Jeremiah talks about that. You know? Okay. All right, let's get one more. Let's go to the uh, Revelation 13 and 8, and I'm going to finish it there. The book of Revelation 13 and 8. <clears throat> okay, Revelation 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. See, if any man have an ear, see, 
from before the foundation of the world, man. There's going to be men that's going to resonate with the spirit of Yahweh Hashem and worship him. There's going to be some that are not written, but all knees shall bow. This is already a story written before the foundations of the world. This, this is a story that's been written in the heavens. You understand? Okay? This is a story that's written in the heavens, brothers. Okay? I got to get this one. I'm sorry. Second Ezra 9.20. This is one of my favorite ones. Let's go to Second Ezra 9. I love this scripture right here. This is 2 Ezra 9, verse 20, and it reads, So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. Okay? Verse 21, And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept. And my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. The elect is going to be perfect in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh The elect is going to be that grape, that cluster that was kept only for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So, so, so no matter what you are in this world, again, a fireman, a cop, a doctor, a janitor, whatever. If you were ordained to be predestinated to do this work, the Lord's work, this is your number one job. This is your number one job. You haven't chosen Yahweh Bashemah. He's have chosen you. Okay? All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Baka Kadesh. Shalom Labakarium Shah Yasharala. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Natanda Ya, Ha Kasa Yam Shah, Dawa Da. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Banawa Yahawa, Dawadaba Yahawa, Yahawa Bashim Yahushai, Pakwana Ya, Ba Yahushawataka, Kananya, Ka Marathaka, man. Dawadaba Yahawa Bashim Yahushai. Shalom, brothers.